The human mind is not meant to be awake after midnight, scientists warn. Well, I know that all Christian Orthodox monks and nuns are awake until 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. That's because they know that the uh, evil one and his minions do their work at night, casting spells and curses, and that's why they're up all night. Just like our Lord Jesus Christ asked his disciples to be with him, at least one of them, uh, one hour during the night time to pray with him. And those of you who do wake up in the middle of the night for no reason, know that that's what happens. The Holy Spirit does wake up sacerdotal souls of God to pray. Just in case, and I'm sure there are many who would do wake up in the middle of the night not being able to go back to sleep, it's because Christ wants you to pray with him. Now, going back to this, in the middle of the night, the world can sometimes feel like a dark place. Under the cover of darkness, negative thoughts have a way of drifting through your mind, and as you lie awake, staring at the ceiling, you might start craving guilty pleasures like a cigarette or a carb-heavy meal. Plenty of evidence suggests that the human mind functions differently if it's awake at nighttime. Past midnight, negative emotions tend to draw our attention more than positive ones. Dangerous ideas grow in appeal and, uh, and inhibitions fall away. Some researchers think the human circadian rhythm is heavily involved in these critical changes in function, as they outline in a new paper summarizing the evidence of how brain systems function differently after the dark. Their hypothesis, called Mind After Midnight, suggests the human body and the human mind follow a natural 24-hour cycle of activity that influences our emotions and behavior. In short, at certain hours, our species is inclined to feel and act in certain ways. In the daytime, for instance, molecular levels and brain activity are tuned to wakefulness, but at night, our usual behavior is to sleep. From an evolutionary standpoint, this of course makes sense. Humans are much more affected, effective at hunting and gathering in the daylight, and while nighttime is great for rest, humans have were once, of course, at greater risk of becoming the hunted. According to the researchers, to cope with this increased risk, our attention to negative stimuli is unusually heightened at night, where it might once have helped us jump at invisible threats. This hyper-focus on the negative can then feed into an altered award motivation system, making a person particularly prone to risky behaviors. Add sleep loss to the equation, and this state of consciousness only becomes more problematic. There are millions of people who are awake in the middle of the night, and there is fairly good evidence that their brain is not functioning as well as it does during the day, says neurologist Elizabeth Clearman from Harvard University. And she says, my plea is for more research to look at that because their health and safety, as well as that of others, is affected. The authors of the new hypothesis use two examples to illustrate their point. The first example is of a heroin user who successfully manages their cravings in the day but succumbs to their desires at night. The second is of a college student struggling with insomnia who begins to feel a sense of hopelessness, loneliness, and despair as the sleepless nights stack up. Both scenarios can ultimately prove fatal and uh, self-harm very common at nighttime. In fact, some research re uh, reports a threefold higher risk of this between midnight and 6 a.m. compared to any other time of the day. A study in 2020 concluded that nocturnal wakefulness is a risk factor, possibly through misalignment of circadian rhythms. Uh, prevention, suicide previously inconceivable, emerges as an escape from loneliness and pain, and before the cost of that are considered, the student has acquired the means and prepared. Now, illicit or dangerous substances are also taken more by people at night. The research in 2020 at Supervised Drug Consumption Center in Brazil revealed a 4.7-fold greater risk of uh, overdose at night. Some of these behaviors could be explained by sleep debt or the cover that darkness offers, but there are probably nighttime neurological changes at play too. Researchers like Claremont and her colleagues think we need to investigate these factors further to make sure we are protecting those most at risk from nighttime wakefulness. 
And uh, to date, the authors say no studies have examined how sleep deprivation and timing impacts a person's reward processing. As such, we don't really know how shift workers, such as pilots or doctors, are coping with their unusual sleep routine. For six hours or so a day, we know surprisingly little about how the human brain works. Whether asleep or awake, the mind after midnight is a mystery. This was published in Frontiers in Network Psychology, and it's on Science Alert by Carly Casella. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.